Well, a Minnesota native who is now playing in the NBA is helping keep people warm this winter. Yeah, in about an hour, Chet Holmgren will be distributing new winter coats to kids at the Salvation Army in Brooklyn Park. Mm -hmm. Fox 9's Paul Bloom joins us now. And Paul, as reported, this is the Salvation Army damaged by arson and vandalism earlier. Yeah, Karen, Tim, we were here four weeks ago. We brought you inside. Uh, it was really tragic on this location. Uh, the vandalism, uh, suspect setting a small fire uh, in the sanctuary itself. And when that happened, he uh, destroyed a whole bunch of winter coats, uh, winter clothes that had been donated by the community that was set to be distributed. And what's really interesting is Chet Holmgren saw the news coverage down in Oklahoma City is now a member of the Oklahoma City Thunder in the NBA, the Thunder coming to town to play the T-Wolves this weekend, and he wanted to donate coats to the community. I'm joined now by Dan Furry, a Salvation Army Communications Director for our region. Dan, how special was it that an NBA player saw this story and wanted to help our community? It was extraordinary, to be honest with you. We got a phone call from from Chet's team and they had seen the report as you said and they wanted to know how how they could help. Chet grew up in this city uh, he played at Minnehaha Academy and he wanted to know how he could help. The, the news coverage was fabulous and he saw uh, that that all the coats that we had for our distribution had been destroyed by the fire uh, they, they were all smoke damaged and so he donated 100, 170 coats uh, along with his partner Operation Warm and, and so he's coming in tonight, uh, should be here within the hour, and he's going to help us distribute some coats for, to some families in need, and it's, it's going to be a very special night. And something so beautiful has come, at, come out of something so destructive, hasn't it? Isn't it amazing how, and it's not just Chet Holmgren, we've reported that other companies, this community has donated stuff to make sure nobody goes cold this year. So what does that mean to the Salvation Army? It, it means a lot. It's a wonderful, wonderful gesture from everybody. Many organizations and, and groups and, and people within the community have reached out to replace these coats and honestly, uh, have, have given back more than we lost. And so uh, not only are we going to be able to uh, uh, give the families in this community uh, the coats that they need, uh, but we'll be able to reach out beyond this community and help folks that, that are going to need uh, you know, winter coats this year. Thank you so much, Dan. Good luck tonight. And I do want to point out that families did have to pre-register, so I know there'll be some excitement that an NBA player will be here, but you did have to pre-register. But plenty of coats, plenty of winter scarves, gloves will go out tonight to families in need. Tim, Karen, send it back to you. That's what it's all about, Paul. Thanks. Such a great yeah. story. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, love it. Paul.